guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is going to be a really short video. I'm going to show you a little trick to fit some record data into some other line work, some, some uh, geometry from a land record. So this is a road right away that my buddy Justin Height drafted out of a deed, and I'm trying to fit it to this other chunk of line work here. This is a, a big boundary survey we did in the foothills southwest of Pleasanton, California. So... I've got it anchored here to this point, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rotate this line work in, and it's it's a little tricky here because what I really want is I, is I want to rotate this point, this end point here, should be located on this line here. So this is a the line separating two parts of a rancho, and it's it's a little bit tricky because I don't have a fixed point to rotate to here, right? There is no node in here that to rotate to. I'm just trying to anchor this point to a line. Okay, and actually I didn't even have this extension in, so when I started it looked like this, right? So this point actually touches the sideline of the road. Okay, it doesn't go to the center. Uh, but there's no, there's no angle point in the sideline here where this intersection is, right? I don't want to rotate to this point. It's not the right point. So th this is perpendicular to that angle point that's not what I want I want a point that's somewhere over here like this right I'm looking for a point like right here okay so I'm going to show you how you can do that in AutoCAD so what we're going to do first is we're going to draw this line in we're going to extend this line okay because I know I want to hold this line actually the line separating this rancho actually continues here even though I don't have it mapped so we just want to extend that out into space. Okay. And then the next step, so two, this is, uh, I guess really three steps. So the second step is to draw a circle. So we're going to start here at our, our base point. And we're going to draw the circle to this node here. Okay. What that does is it creates an arc at that distance. And you can see now, it's now giving me a, a solution for the intersection of that line. Okay, it's this point right here. And so what we can do now, the third step, is we can go in and rotate the road geometry. And we're going to come up here and we're going to say rotate from this end point to this intersection point. Yeah, it's having a hard time there. So sometimes when you do that in AutoCAD, it, it chokes because one of these lines has 3D elevation on it. So we're just going to flatten them, and we'll try that again. All right, so we're going to go up. We're going to tell it, rotate the road geometry from this endpoint to that intersection. So now I've got exactly what I wanted. Okay, whoop. Just going to delete that circle, and we're done. I've got exactly what I want now, which is this node of this angle point in the road center line on the extension of this line separate, separating the two parts of the rancho. So we can even delete that extension line now. So in essence, what we just did is we just we just calculated this point here. Okay. Now this will give you an idea of the error in the record, right? So. We were hoping that would land right, right exactly on there. It doesn't. I'm, I'm guessing this is a few feet. <laughs> this is a really bad. Uh, it's a really bad spot. It's a. It's been a difficult boundary survey, and there are quite a bit of some. There's some large errors. So this is probably a few feet. Let's just see what it is here. Yeah, it's not going to let me snap that exactly, but. Let's flatten these two. So that road fits within about three feet. That's actually not bad considering some of the large errors I had here. So I'm pretty happy with that solution. Anyways, I wanted to just show you guys that little uh, technique there when you're trying to rotate something into a... Uh, an extension of line there, you can use that that circle and that kind of three step circle and rotate method to do that. So thanks for watching guys and we'll probably see this line work again. I'd do some more videos on uh
creating a record of survey from this resolve boundary line work. So we'll see you on the next video.